Hey everybody. Uh, so as you can see, I'm not in my office setting today. Uh, so late last night, we actually got evacuated from my home. So I live in Wienas over in Sila. Uh, so we got the alert kind of late last night. So we had to head over, over to my mother-in-law's house in Skagit County. We didn't get here till past 1 a.m. in the morning. Uh, so I actually don't have the video I meant to post today ready. I usually edited them on Tuesday, have them ready for you guys Wednesday morning, but with the circumstances, I couldn't get that done. So hopefully I'll get back into the routine next week. Um, so we all, everyone got out of the house safely. Um, we're very much just here waiting it out and hopefully we have a house to go back to. And on top of all that, my wife is about 35 weeks into a high risk pregnancy and she's supposed to have her doctor's appointments today in Yakima, but now we're actually over at Peace Health here in Bellingham. So she's getting her weekly uh, stress test done just for monitoring purposes. Um, so I'm not allowed in the room, so I thought I'd pop out and talk to you guys. Uh, so I don't have any you know, retire for retirement related advice for you guys today. I just wanted to kind of give some quick tips on if you do need to evacuate your house and just some things you should really know about that. And what I've learned in the last you know 12 hours getting evacuated from my home. Um, so the first thing I did is actually ran upstairs, grabbed all my filing box. So it's important to keep all of your documents. And one, usually you want it in a fireproof container, um, just so it's something you can really quick and easy to grab. Ideally you want it fireproof. Um, so that's the first thing I grabbed. I also have our memory boxes, photo albums, things like that that really can't be replaced. Um, so I was able to gather most things out of the house that we really needed. Uh, the one part we kind of messed up on is we didn't get the animals wrangled in time, so we just spent about an hour looking for this kitten that we're fostering. It was hitting my hideaway bed couch, um, so that kind of delayed us leaving the area. Um, by the time we did leave, our car kind of reeked of smoked, um, but you know we're out of there now. The other thing I did before I left is I made sure I took pictures of everything in my house. So the outside of my house, I went to every single room and took well over 100, maybe 200 pictures I haven't looked at of basically everything that we own, everything in our cabinets, of the appliances in the kitchen, brand names of pretty much everything. Uh, so that's something everyone really should do, whether or not you're being threatened by a fire because you really never know what's going to happen. Or in the case that someone were to break in and rob your home, having something to show the police or the insurance company so you can basically replace those things is really important. So one thing I recommend to everybody, since we're all at home on lockdown anyways, is just go around at some point, you know, either today or this week, Take pictures of everything, save it to your phone, put it on the cloud if you need to. Just, you know, so if something were to happen in the future, you have pictures of proof to show, you know, what you had at the time. Um, other things that, you know, I've learned in, in the past few hours is when you're leaving your home, you want to make sure you remove all the gas. So all the propane, gas tanks, the auto will be left by the curb. I have to take the curtains down. All the doors are closed. House is locked. Um, I've also learned that the Red Cross will actually pay for your hotel room if you get evacuated. So I didn't find that out until I was at the top of the pass, uh, but I have animals so I probably wouldn't have worked out anyways. Uh, but if the case ever to happen to you guys, just know that it is an option. Um, the other cool thing is I actually got a call a few hours ago from my insurance company and they actually have some kind of wildfire uh, protection agreement with certain, certain contractors and basically for free they'll go to the house. Uh, they'll move debris if there's any there, they'll put sprinklers out, make sure everything's wet. They even apply a gel to your house just to make it extra fire resistant. Uh, hope you guys are all doing well, stay safe. Um, and I hope to get back to some retirement videos up for you guys in the next week or two. Uh, take care guys.